argument with my friends today. It's just doing what it wants to do, and I'm decidedly not cool with that. Um, nevertheless, I'm back. I'm really hoping this video doesn't ex export import into my computer looking orange because it looks pretty damn orange on screen but it was a choice of either looking orange or looking grey. I'd rather look orange. Um, I'm back from New York. Um, do you know how you get big fish small pond syndrome? Yeah, it wasn't like that. It was the opposite. It was small fish, small fish, small fish, big pond. I felt like a very, very small fish in a very, very large pond, and there was too much to look at and too much, too much to do. Um, I basically wandered around wide-eyed, staring for like two days straight. I was just so confused by it all. Really, I mean. I don't think New York is ever going to be my forever home, I much prefer London, it's much more manageable for me. Um, Manchester as well, I much prefer Manchester because it's like a smaller London, but it's cooler because the people are nicer. <laughs> um, anyway, um, yeah, I did a bit of wandering about and this is really annoying me, why is it annoying me? Uh, I did a bit of wandering about, uh, ate a lot of pancakes and went to the conference which was pretty full on it was 10 till 7 most days of lectures alone and then we'd have the schmoozing part which was about two to three hours so it was really long and then you know obviously you're expected to schmooze and go and meet people um, and talk to people academic people and see if you can find someone who's in your subject area and blah 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 so um, yeah, it was pretty tiring. I did try and find, film a vlog and I actually had a video of an interview with my dad whilst he was driving me to the airport. Um, but it failed miserably, so. Um, I've got a haul for you, so I'll probably talk a bit about New York at the end if I have time. The haul's not very big, I didn't really see much that I really wanted, actually. So, uh, first things I got from the airport, um, duty free, I got a MAC foundation and a MAC concealer. And I don't buy MAC foundations as a rule, I prefer to shop elsewhere. But this one I had to get. It's the MAC Pro Longwear, and I had a sample of this, and I was absolutely floored by how good it is. I have never, ever, ever had a foundation in my life that stays on all day until I take it off. So 16 hours later, when I will go to take it off, uh, you know when you go with the wipe? Yeah, there'll be a foundation on the wipe, which is actually very, very rare. So I am amazed at this. Um, I've done a review on my blog, if you want to go check out, it's down there. Um, but I love this and I will probably rush to repurchase it, it's amazing. Um, it's just, the only thing I don't like about it is when I put it on my skin and I, if I don't set it with powder, it feels like it's almost sticky to touch but when they say it's gonna last 15 hours it really does last 15 hours um so i'm gonna probably film a review on that today because it makes me excited um pro longwear concealer which i'm not quite so enthused about i have to say it's good it lasts all day it's a good product and it's really pigmented, a little goes a long way. However, when you give me a pump with a bottle this size, the pump's going to be really hard to push down and when you do push it down, you're going to get crap tons of product out and way more than you need, which is a really stupid idea from MAC there. So I would have much preferred a squeezy tube like the, um, the other one that they have, you know, <laughs> the one in the squeezy tube. Um, but yeah, I love this product, and I like the consistency, I like the pigmentation, but it's like the Makeup Forever HD blushes. You have to be really careful, and there are, every day so far, every time I've used this, I've, I've got way too much product out of it. And I'm pushing down with the tiniest of pressure. I'm not going... <laughs> yeah, so, that annoyed me. Um, obviously, I went to a Sephora. And I didn't buy that much from Sephora actually, which was a bit silly, but I think it was one of those days where I was feeling a bit jet-lagged and a bit kind of 
walking around New York on my own, not really enjoying it, would rather have someone to walk with um, one of those days. So that was the day that I went to Sephora and I could have bought other things but I didn't. Uh, I bought this little tester pack which was like $10 and these are the fresh mascaras. This one is Firebird which has a really nice big wand. Reminds me of Dior Show, the wand. Not the mascara, not the mascara unfortunately. And this one is Supernova. Luckily I bought the testers because I would have just walked in and bought this and yeah. I would have bought the full size for $25 and I'm glad I didn't because I hate both of these. I think they're both useless. Neither one of them is as good as my £8 Ico Big Eyes Mascara. So yeah, I'm glad I just bought the $10 trial pack really. Other thing I bought from Sephora was I bought Steeler Kitten, obviously. It would be rude not to, which is very pretty actually. I swatched it and walked out the shop and then I like the way that it caught the light, which sounds really pretentious, but it's just really pretty nude and I'm really big into nudes at the moment, so obviously I had to buy this little aluminium pot to put it in because Steeler don't provide such useful things as pots to keep your eyeshadow in because obviously they're more eco-friendly than other companies, but you know. So, I have a Steeler Kitten, finally. And what else? Okay, I went to, oh, I went to Mac. Now, when I left the UK on the 11th of September, tried to cough there. Um, when I left the UK on the uh, 11th of September, um, this wasn't out as far as I know, but I got it in the US instead. And when I came back, it was out, so maybe I just missed the launch of it. But it is the Viva Glam Cindy, which I have to say, I love and I wore it straight for about three days without even thinking about any other lip colour. So, have you ever noticed I'm really, really conscious about coughing, sneezing, and clearing my throat in my videos now? I got a comment ages ago saying it was disgusting. So I'm really, really conscious. But I've got a bit of a, a sniffle at the moment and my body wanted to cough and I didn't let it, it was denied and now I feel bad for it. So yeah, really, really beautiful, really, really opaque. Well, not really, really opaque, but opaque enough. Um, really nice to wear on its own. Then I went to a Dwayne Reed. There are loads of them in New York, I don't even know what they are, it's like a drugstore kind of, I don't know, like drugstore slash lunch slash Halloween outfits slash candy hybrid. I said candy like that because it makes me feel really stupid to say candy. Um, anyway, and I got OPI Russian Navy, which is a really, really awesome colour, it's like a navy blue. But it's also a purple and it has red reflex in it so I think it's just a navy blue with red reflex in it which make it look purple but it's really pretty not really impressed with the wear on OBI though I have to say um I also bought a lash blast obviously it's it would have been rude not to again but I'm stupid and look what color that is on the wand that's brown so if anyone would like a brown unused lash blast mascara feel free to contact me answers on a postcard because I'm not gonna use it um, okay other things I bought I bought two Essie polishes um, Demure Vixen I knew my neighbor would start playing music I knew it um, Demure Vixen which is the one I'm wearing which I think is I'm not sure if I'm sold on this yet, but I think it's a very ladylike kind of shade. Um, unfortunately, it chipped on me on the first day. So, I also got Splash of Grenadine, which I think was in the, the summer collection, and I love this. This is awesome. Like that kind of really obnoxious Barbie pink, but I love it. Um, and it wore for five days with no chipping whatsoever, so I am super impressed by Essie really really happy 
And I also went to Ingrot. Um, this is like the one store in the US and it's in Times Square in New York. So I went to Ingrot just to have a look around because I thought, well, I'm here, so I might as well. It'd probably take me longer to get to Westfield in London than it would to Ingrot in New York. So I went to Ingrot in New York and the prices were probably about the same. Although I wouldn't advise going there because the staff aren't very helpful. They're quite rude and yeah. And she also, I got, so I got one of these palette -y things. But she didn't tell me what shades I'd asked to be put in. So I can't remember. So I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to be as useful as just showing you. Um, so I got a kind of heathery grey colour, which reminds me a bit of Circa Plum from MAC. And I got a silvery colour. Um, a bluish dark grey. And then something which reminds me of Femme 5 by MAC. And then Wild Card Purple. So I will give you some swatches. But I love these shadows so far. They're very, very buttery. Um... They're very, very soft, very smooth. Uh, I didn't try any matte shades, which I hear aren't quite as successful, but I really like them. They're really pretty. I also got a cream blush in 81, which is a plum colour, which I'm really looking forward to for winter. Um, seeing as I've been obsessed with my MAC blush cream and posy recently. Um, this is more pigmented than a MAC blush cream, actually. See, I didn't, I only used, like, I dipped my finger in and then rubbed it and that's how dark it is. It's amazing. Inglot Brush Blush Creams are pretty amazing, actually. And the last thing, I went to Bath and Body Works and I got two things. I bought this perfume and I got this free. So, I got the Sweet Pea perfume, which I walked around and sniffed for about 20 minutes, walked out of the shop, sniffed it again, and then did a U-turn and went straight back in and bought it. Um, it was $30, which, you know, is okay, but it was a bit expensive, I think, for just an eau de toilet, but, you know, it smells delicious. It smells sweet, but fresh at the same time, because I've been wearing this all the time, because it's... All my other perfumes are so sweet and so heavy, but this one is sweet but light as well, so I really, really like it. Then I got this free body lotion, which is warm vanilla sugar. And I got warm vanilla sugar because I couldn't decide which perfume I wanted. So I ended up getting warm vanilla sugar because it was my kind of backup choice. And it really smells like vanilla yoghurt, actually. <laughs> not warm vanilla sugar um, but I probably won't use it anyway because I'm not really a fan of body lotion but you know it's nice to have anyway nothing smells as good as Palmer's cocoa butter does it anyway I'm gonna cut short my ramblings and I'm gonna have some lunch which by the way if you're interested <laughs> is, is a leftover mashed potato gravy and peas because we had sausages and mash last night and there's leftover mash and I really like mash and gravy it's something I picked up when I lived in um, Manchester um, I really really liked mash and gravy a lot so yeah that is all I will be back in probably about 20 minutes not that you're counting to do my pro long wear foundation review I think I might sound insane in this video